Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. We're kicking into May. You got the Fed tomorrow. We got action, man. You are only responsible for your half of a relationship. There are two halves in every relationship, but you're only responsible for, for your half of the relationship. It's not up to you to control the other half. Respect the other half, and there's always going to be peace in that relationship. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 176. NASDAQ's up 70. S&Ps are up 34. Gold contract up $5.20, trading at 1868 an ounce. We got silver up two cents, twenty-two dollars sixty-one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off two twenty-one, hundred and two dollars ninety-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up twenty-six ticks, trading one thirty-nine twenty-nine. The thirty-year up eighty at thirty. <laughs> up eighty. Oh my God. The thirty-year up twenty-six ticks at one thirty-nine twenty-nine. And king dollar. King dollar is trading uh, down two ninety-two. 103452. Euro's at 105. The yen's at 130. And the British pound's at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we get over. We take a look at the spy. What you're going to see? Well, first off, the, the spies and an ABC structure down. Uh, you got a uh, price projection of uh, 394. You broke the B point. You broke it with volume. Come lower yesterday. What are you doing today? You're bouncing today. You're up three dollars and thirty-eight cents, and you get seventy-four million shares traded. You, you're coming into like 145 million shares, 122 million shares, 103 million shares, and 119 million shares. So, bottom line, you can see how this works out. You get higher price. You don't have enough demand. That's an indication that you're building costs for lower price. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. The three Qs, the same type of setup. The three Qs are an ABC structure on the way down. What a, oh, actually, I'm sorry, folks. That, let me go back to this spy. <laughs> That'd be shocking. The spy is an ABC structure down to 394. And we're at 417. The Qs are the ones that is an ABC structure down to the two, 281 area. So we take a look at the, the Qs. We help with the Qs. You're up 60. You get 64 million shares up. You're up a buck 20. Bottom line, this is going into 99 million shares, 108 million shares. You made a low yesterday of 115 million shares. Gold. Gold contract is on an ABC structure down to 1788. And bottom line, same type of setup. Uh, what you have out here, you got a rejection today. You got 157,000 contracts. Now, what you do have in the, not only the gold market, but the, one second, sorry about that, folks. This is, there it is. Not only in the metals, you also have this in the equities. And what it is, is this. You have, the, the metal itself has an ABC structure down. That being said, bottom line, what you're also doing is that you are coming back to where gold broke topside in February. So the real question is going to be, what's going to win out here? You know, because as you look as to where it broke out from, this did come down with light of volume. But the bottom line is that I'd go with the ABC first until you get a real rejection of lower price. And a sign of strength. And then, of course, you're going to go over to the U.S. dollar. We take a look, look at the U.S. dollar out here. What you have with the dollar, that is teetering at highs. This thing is very close to really, I suspect we're going to, we're going to find out tomorrow. I mean... Uh, it, it's going to be in the language. It's not going to be what they actually just did. It's going to be in the language of what they're continuing to thinking of doing. Because what you have here, you can see this 103, 820. Um, you break that, you're going to 121. And 121, just to give you an idea, I remember 121 because that is when I started the gold report. And... Uh, that goes all the way back to 2000 and 2002. The high there was 121.02, and that was in July of 2001. So, it, you know, it's amazing, folks. It's amazing that gold basically is still up at these prices when this dollar has been that strong. You know? So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. Notes and bonds. We're going to take a look at the note and bond market. The 10-year note right now, that is up four ticks 
And the thing that has been amazing about the note and bond market, you know, lower price, higher yield, is that that the the the, the bond the bond market did not care about how fast the market was going down. Normally, you get an you get an action that when you see prices that go that fast, um, you know, the bottom line is they come in and buy bonds. Well, they didn't buy. Bonds. That's the real bottom line. We go take a look at the uh, one second here. We had a question about the I, I went over about the weeklies. Okay, Tom, can you look at the S and P and Q's on the weeklies? Using the time in the trade. It doesn't matter. Well, let's take a look at the weeklies. What you're going to see at the weeklies, and I think, well, let's just take a look at it first. So we take, they take the cues up first. We put these on a weekly. And what you're going to see here, you say the same setup. Now it's, it's an ABC down in the weekly, too. You broke the B point. You broke it with volume. You got a big ABC structure on the way down. You take a look at the SPY. In fact, the, the numbers I gave you are the weeklies on the on the. That's what they are. They broke they broke the weeklies. They broke them with volume, and that's saying lower price is coming at us. You take a look at the SPY. Same same type of setup. You had you needed more than uh, 593, and you ended up with 597 on the SPY on the NDX. The three Qs. The three Qs were actually bigger than that, but the bottom line is that we had the volume. We broke the B, we broke it with volume. We take a look at the Qs once again, and on the Qs what you have is that we had uh, 510 million, which is breaking 414, which is breaking 301. These, these are monster ABC structures down. Uh, three, 281, and 281 is down at your next level. So that's where this baby looks like it's going. 281 will get you back to the, uh, what's that, August of 2020. That's how this baby's set up right now. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down up 167. NASDAQ's up 65. S&P's up 32. We'll come right back. <laughs>